Hello everybody, welcome to the Bales Hay Farm and Ranch YouTube channel. It is Sunday the 8th, noon. There is over 50% chance of rain on Tuesday. And tomorrow we've got 35 or more loads to move. I'm in here, gonna get the squeezes kind of cleaned up and ready to go. So tomorrow run goes smoothly. I'm gonna clean the windows, fuel them up, blow the radiators out because we're gonna start at 5 a.m. to get things going. We got three trucks first thing in the morning and then we'll have two more show up a little bit later on so we can get this done. Lots of work to do tomorrow. Let's get these things cleaned up. I lied, I was actually doing a little bit of work earlier. And the retriever and I left a blinker on, so I gotta turn the blinker off. We work a lot of Sundays, but I try not to work every Sunday. I like to give my guys a day off here and there. Uh, so everyone's home right now. I'm gonna get these cleaned up so then Monday morning we can just hit the road running. Leonard had a leaky cylinder, so his squeeze is pretty dirty. So he'll be happy to have a clean squeeze when he gets here tomorrow morning. It's from his, uh, that cylinder blowing all over the place. That cylinder broke last year. And it broke again this year. Let this squeeze warm up. There'll be some cleaning. What do you guys think of this shirt? I was born in 85, so it's kind of retro-y. The back actually says keep farming too. Can you see it? Yeah. So stay wild. Where is it? Here we go. Stay wild and keep farming. The yard where we sell hay by the bale is got a lot of hay in it. Look at, I hit some bees yesterday. So they're gonna have to clean all this up tomorrow. Which a lot of it is junk from the last rain. We sold what we could and the rest will have to be fed the cows. It's just too bad. The quality is too low and I don't have the time to try to get it sold. Uh, the longer it sits there, the lower the quality it gets and it's just taking up space. So we're just gonna move it to the cows and get it fed. All right, uh, time to wash off. One done, well, one clean, and then I want to go park this in the shop so I can get to it with the air compressor blow it out I blew out the rate I know a lot of people are like you shouldn't have blown out your radiator with your pressure washer I was far enough away I was keeping it straight like it's fine this thing's not hot it's just been sitting here idling so it's not like it's up over 200 degrees or anything lots of know-it-alls are gonna tell me everything they know I think I'm gonna park in the shade so I can blow this out in the shade not in the Sun we're gonna be here at five tomorrow anyway so we won't be anyone's way. Open up the hood. Let this water dry out. Whew, I've been waiting on this piece. Peterbilt lost it. So now it just leaks oil. And of course they can't uh, get one in. So everything's out of stock. So whatever, thanks COVID. Here's the uh, broken cylinder. Somewhere in here. It was welded up last year, made it a full year. A lot of pressure on that thing. All right, here comes the other squeeze. Ooh, these windows are dirty. It'll be nice to climb in here and have this clean. It was nice when Matt was here to do it for me on the weekends, but Matt's back in college. So we get to do it.
also noticed the brakes need to be adjusted. But I just sprayed these things down. Rolling underneath there, I'm gonna get wet. Brakes on both need to be adjusted, actually. Throw the safety blocks underneath them. No rolling around. Takes a 9 16 Need two more blocks. It's not too crazy wet underneath here. Ooh, more oil than anything. Might need to slew that down. Come on. There we go. Stop, quarter turn. Perfect. Other side. This is 9 sixteenths. Oh, it work. Quarter turn. Probably wondering why I have blue tools. One, it's easy to spot them in the field when they fall into the uh, gra uh, hay. Also, too, when I see them in someone else's equipment, trucks, or tractors, I know they're mine. And the front brake. Brakes. Oh yeah, these are definitely ready to be adjusted. Uh-oh, I think that brake pod's no good. Uh, not what I wanted. I'm just gonna back it off. I'll go without, luckily this one's the one that's stuck in the, in the barns all day. So I'm just gonna back this one off. If we get a bunch of rain Tuesday, We'll be all right. 
we'll fix it then. Man, that sucks. All right, windows are washed. Brakes are, uh, I noticed on the one, if you guys caught it, the pod is destroyed. The spring from inside the brake pod came out. Uh, and I don't have an extra one on hand. So I just backed that uh, brake, the brakes all the way off on that one side. That squeeze never leaves the barns. So he still has his duals, which were, is where all the weight is from the stack. And then one, one wheel up front, well, like I said, he doesn't go fast. He doesn't even go on blacktop. He just he just goes right around the barns. He unloads the trucks and uh, stacks them. So I back that off. He'll have three breaks all day tomorrow. I'll probably have someone or, or I'll have to try to find a way to pick up um, an extra pod. And then we'll get it fixed when we get a chance. Right now, I'm driving around the barn seeing where I have space to stack hay for tomorrow. I gotta run around and make kind of a game plan so I don't have any hiccups tomorrow. So I've got, I've got a notepad and uh, writing down some barn numbers. So here we go, park in the shade. Keep the sun off me. All right, I've got a game plan for tomorrow. If you don't have a game plan, you're not gonna be as efficient. So, got a game plan for tomorrow. Hopefully it works. <sighs> well, actually I'm gonna go look at, dang it, look at the hay they just bailed today. That'll, then I'll have a better game plan. So I haven't even seen it yet. No, I, mean, I wanna go home, it's two o'clock and I've barely seen Henry. So when I see it, I'll know. I've got lots of space because Sears not going so well. So I'll, I'll be all right. When I see it, I'll know. We got big bales coming tomorrow and small bales, so I know where it's all going. All right, you guys get ready for tomorrow. We're racing Mother Nature. 50 to 60% chance of rain on Tuesday. Time to get it, get it all moved. Stay tuned.